All right, so we're here in Valley Center, Kansas, and before I get started, solid town, great suburb for Wichita, a nice little addition. If you're looking for something a little bit smaller, a little slower pace, Valley Center solid. But like any city, any city, there's pros, there's cons. So I'm throwing five things at you. You might want to consider before moving to Valley Center, Kansas. We're getting after it right now. So first and foremost, numero uno, if you're wanting to be that kind of person that's, everything's here, let's say the job, all that stuff. Valley Center is a little lacking. There's some, I'm not saying there's not jobs here. I'm not saying there's not opportunity. But if you're looking for, say, medical, if you're looking for aircraft, if you're looking for some of that other stuff, it's just not here. Maybe down the road, but not now. So if you're the sort, you're looking, you're looking to sleep and work and play all in your town you're living in, you're all in. You know, work-wise, little lacking. On to the next. Number two, entertainment options. Kind of like the last one, a little lacking. You know, you got a liquor store, hamburger place, got a Mexican restaurant right down the street, the Hive, which, solid place, but, you know, other than that, maybe some parks little lacking so you know if you're wanting to play if you're wanting all those amenities to be close to you it's a little lacking I mean you got a Dollar General there's a Walmart not too terribly far away but it's technically in Wichita so it the layout around this area is kind of strange you'll have Valley Center and then squeezed in between Valley Center and Park City is Wichita. There's a thin strip of Wichita, and then it's Park City. Park City's been up in their game. You got a little bit more to do there. You've got the Crosswinds Casino, Hartman Arena. Um, there's another gambling establishment that's going to be coming in, in in the near future. Crosswinds is adding table games, you know. A little bit more to do in Park City than here not far away if you don't mind a little drive you know you got a little bit more to do in Park City so on to the next so let me know are you getting any value out of this maybe a little throw me a like subscribe maybe maybe this message isn't for you maybe it's for a family member a friend share it with them help them Help me get the word out. If you're looking for a place to relocate to, I'm your guy. You got a question, reach out. I can't read your mind. Call, text, email, DM, all that stuff. Morning, noon, early night, weekends. I got your back when it comes to relocation to Wichita and the surrounding areas. Plugs aside, we're getting back after it now. Housing, we're in a small town. It's one of the smaller of the suburbs. Housing is going to be limited compared to some of these other areas. Yeah, sure, you might be able to find a place to rent, but when there's not as many places to rent to buy, those prices are naturally going to inflate. So, you know, if you're wanting that, if you're wanting that small town charm, that vibe, it's here. You know, you just, you're not going to have quite as many options compared to some of these other suburbs. It's just a little food for thought. On to the next. Like I was stating previously, a lot of these options are going to be limited in that small town. Trust and believe me, I've been in smaller towns than this. There's, you know, jobs. You know, there's a limited entertainment. Limited housing. Your, your grocery options are going to be no different. You got a Dollar General. I mean, you want to drive a little bit further? Yeah, you got a Walmart. It's a good size Walmart. But if you're wanting those other options, I'm talking like maybe a Whole Foods, a Sam's, a Costco, you're going into Wichita for that. 
If you don't mind, hey, that's fine. All good. But there are a lot of people out there, they want that convenience. They want everything. They want their work. They want their entertainment. They want their shopping. All here. You know? And it's just a little lacking. But hey, like I said, if you're okay with driving a little bit, and I mean, it's really not that far away, it's okay. You know? Your shopping options are probably going to be just a tad bit cheaper in Wichita anyway. But on to the next. So this next one, this the last one, isn't really, you know, we're not talking about schools. Schools around here, check out niche.com, don't take my word for it. Solid schools. Solid schools, but just overall, you know, you have that sense of community, that vibe. If you're looking to maybe start start a business here, you know, I would say dig your roots in the community, give it some time before I would do something like that. But I mean, just your options overall are just a little limited compared to some of these other places to Wichita, to, you know, what have you. But realistically, that is the trade back of living in a quote unquote small town. So this is really just number five, just really just kind of an overview of all that. You know, your work, your play, your shopping, it's gonna be limited. We got the train coming through as well. So that's another thing they, they come through quite frequently. And it's just another thing. I'm glad actually they're, it's coming through so you know. right through that cuts through middle of town but like I've been saying about all of these cities there's pros there's cons and if you can over overlook the cons it's a solid option you know give it five give it ten years and I think a lot of those cons are gonna go away you're gonna have more job opportunities. You're gonna have more entertainment. You're gonna have more shopping options. But, you know, you gotta think about these things. Are you okay with this? And I mean, really think about it. Think about it when, you know, the weather's not so great, like right now. Do you wanna have to go that extra mile when it's pouring rain out, when it's snowing, you know, when it's, hot hot out these are all things you got to consider because when you make that move for most of us it's the biggest move you're ever going to make so we want to make sure when you make that move you have all the information you have the tools to make that informed decision but anyways that's five so did you get any value out of this is value center for you if it is, okay, cool. If not, that's fine too. Maybe throw me two or three things you like, you dislike. Give me a time frame. Give me a budget. What's your story? Everybody's got a story. What's yours? But if you made it this far, you're the true MVP. Throw me a like, comment, subscribe. You got a question, reach out. I can't read your mind. Morning, noon, early night, weekends. I got your back when re you're relocating to Valley Center, Wichita, the surrounding areas. Until the next one, guys, we'll see you later.